Sweden's Gotland-class submarines, a linchpin of the Royal Swedish Navy, embody cutting-edge technology and strategic versatility. Designated Type A-19, these diesel-electric submarines were the world's first to integrate a Stirling engine air-independent propulsion system, allowing submerged operations for up to two weeks, a feat previously exclusive to nuclear-powered vessels. Constructed by Cockhams, now part of Saab, in Malmo, the fleet includes three submarines, HSWMS Gotland, Upland, and Halland, commissioned between 1996 and 1997. At 60.4 meters long with a submerged displacement of approximately 1,580 tons, they are powered by two MTU diesel engines and a Cockham's V4-275R Sterling AIP system, reaching 11 knots surfaced and 20 knots submerged. Their X-rudder design ensures superior maneuverability, while low acoustic signatures, sonar-resistant hull coatings, and radar-absorbent towers provide exceptional stealth. Tailored for the Baltic Sea's shallow, acoustically complex waters, the Gotland class excels in littoral operations, but is equally adept in open sea missions. With a crew of 25 to 32, supported by automated systems, these submarines highlight Sweden's engineering innovation and dedication to maritime security. The procurement process began in March 1990, with construction starting in 1992 at Cockham's Malmo shipyard. Ordered at roughly $100 million per vessel, HS WMS Gotland was delivered in 1996, followed by HS WMS Upland and HS WMS Halland in 1997. Building on the Vestergutland class, the Gotland class introduced the Sterling AIP system, tested on HS WMS Necken in 1988, revolutionizing submarine endurance and stealth. To ensure longevity, midlife upgrades commenced in 2015 under a 2.1 billion CK contract with Saab Cockhams for HSWMS Gotland and Upland, with Halland later added for 1.1 billion SEK. Completed between 2018 and 2025, these upgrades incorporated advanced sensors, optronic masts, enhanced combat and data management systems, and an upgraded Mark III Sterling AIP system. HSWMS Gotland was relaunched in June 2018, Upland in December 2020, and Halland in February 2025, securing the fleet's relevance into the 2030s. The Gotland class serves diverse roles, including anti-surface and anti-submarine warfare, intelligence gathering, and special operations. Armed with four 533mm and two 400mm torpedo tubes, they deploy heavyweight Type 62 torpedoes, lightweight Type 45 or 47 torpedoes, and up to 48 external mines, enabling engagement of varied maritime threats. Their stealth facilitates covert intelligence collection, including communications and electronic signals intelligence, forward surveillance, and mine laying to disrupt enemy navigation. Based at Karlskrona, they protect Sweden's maritime interests, particularly in the Baltic Sea, vital for trade and defense. Following Sweden's 2024 NATO accession, the Gotland class strengthens the alliance's capabilities, countering Russia's submarine fleet, which is less effective in the Baltic's shallow waters. Their capacity to support special forces enhances their strategic utility, making them indispensable for both national and allied operations. The fleet's operational history is distinguished. In the 1990s and 2000s, exercises like Sorbet Royal in 1996 demonstrated their reliability and resilience through live explosive tests. Their global reputation soared during a 2005-2007 lease of HSMS Gotland to the U.S. Navy for Pacific ASW exercises. In a 2005 war game, Gotland breached Carrier Strike Group 7's defenses, sinking the USS Ronald Reagan and outmaneuvering Spanish, French, and U.S. units, including the USS Houston. These exercises revealed U.S. ASW weaknesses, spurring improvements. Recently, the upgraded fleet excelled in NATO's Dynamic Mongoose exercise in April 2024, focusing on ASW in the North Atlantic. Expanded operations to the North Sea, Atlantic and Mediterranean reflect Sweden's broader naval ambitions and NATO integration, showcasing the submarine's adaptability beyond Baltic confines. 
Their shallow water expertise remains a unique asset, complementing NATO's predominantly deep water submarine fleets. The Gotland class is set to remain operational into the 2030s, alongside the forthcoming Blekin class submarines, HSWMS Blekin and Skåne, expected in 2027 and 2028. These larger vessels, W65 meters and 1,900 tons, will feature advanced Sterling AIP systems, unmanned underwater vehicle capabilities, and enhanced Special Forces support, eventually replacing the Södermanland class and Gotland class. In 2024, Sweden's Parliamentary Defense Committee proposed the Submarine 30 program to develop a new class by 2038, potentially expanding the fleet to six vessels. This initiative responds to heightened regional tensions, ensuring Sweden's underwater dominance. Investments in training and infrastructure, including upgraded facilities at Karlskrona, will support the fleet's operational readiness, while international collaborations with NATO allies enhance interoperability. The Gotland class profoundly shapes Sweden and the Baltic region. Nationally, they safeguard critical underwater infrastructure, such as cables and pipelines, and secure vital sea lanes, deterring aggression amid rising Russian submarine activity. Their international success has elevated Sweden's status as a submarine technology leader, with the Sterling AIP system influencing designs in China, Type 39A Yuan class, Japan, and beyond. Within NATO, the Gotland class bolsters Baltic Sea defenses, complementing nuclear-powered fleets less suited to shallow waters. By ensuring navigable waters and countering regional threats, they strengthen NATO's strategic posture. Economically, the fleet supports Sweden's defense industry, with Saab Kockums driving innovation and job creation. The Gotland class's legacy of technological innovation, operational excellence, and regional influence cements its role as a cornerstone of Sweden's maritime power and a vital asset in an increasingly contested geopolitical landscape, securing its relevance for years to come.